Hey, what up, everybody? Stephen Breach coming to you here. Lunchtime video, sitting out here in the sun, drinking a nice Coke, and uh, just thinking about the Rumble tomorrow. Damn, it's already here. It's going to be a big one. I had a lot of fun hanging out with uh, Luke, uh, Luke Cage 29, Luke Cara. Uh, he, he came out, he got here yesterday. Me and uh, Zach showed him the town. Uh, second time here in a month. We had a lot of fun. We put up uh, two videos last night. Uh, hopefully, maybe we can uh, sit down and, and, and lock down a discussion video tonight if we get some time. But uh, check those videos out. We went DVD shopping. We went figure hunting. Um, they're, they're up uh, as my uh, previously uploaded channel, or uh, previously uploaded videos on this channel is what I was moving for. But uh, CM Punk, one of the hot guys, like I was saying, in the Rumble this year, I really only think there's four guys who can pull out a win, and none of them are Sin Cara. But uh, it's, I think it's uh, Daniel Bryan, Batista, CM Punk. I think those are your your, your three biggest names uh, who really could pull out a win. Honestly, it's not like you know really like the Usos are, are gonna do anything. But uh, I've got to be thinking that CM Punk. I think you know with him being you know number one in the Rumble, that I, you got to think that the Authority are gonna be stacking hard. Uh, on him making sure that he doesn't win the Rumble. It's almost like he has the uh, same storyline uh, that Daniel Bryan does. Well, I guess almost everybody in all of WWE does. You know, Triple H just wants to make sure uh, that Randy Orton is his champion. Uh, he wants to make sure that, that belt stays with him. I think that's. I, I don't see the storyline as strong as it once was, where I really thought that like Triple H had Orton as the champion, but it was mainly just he was the champion because. You know, he, they did the whole thing where he couldn't wrestle anymore. Like they, they, they said that it, it was his car that he bought with his own money that he had given to Orton, so it was still his car. Um, they did that whole uh, crap when uh, when Brian beat the crap out of the car, and he's referred to the belt to, as his belt, and so on and so forth. But uh, you know, everybody's seen the car that they put out for Mania, and I, I mean that. It's news now, but I mean, it's not really anything different than, you know, the card that came out a month ago or two months ago. Almost all of the matches have really stayed still. It's just the, the Batista thing really sort of shook it up just a little bit, but not even really that much. But, uh, you know, CM Punk was the guy that I thought was going to win the Rumble this year until Batista showed up, and now they're saying Batista versus uh, Randy Orton. I'm not really all for Batista winning the Rumble. I really want to see Daniel Bryan do it. That's why I'm still, you know, got him as my guy, but... You know, CM Punk this year is going to have an uphill battle going all the way from number one. Honestly, I could see some spots in there where the authority are going to, you know, stack the deck against them. I, I'm not really 100% sure since they're wrestling in the pre-show, but more than likely I, I could see it one time him getting into the Rumble. Uh, the New Age Outlaws will be in there. They're Triple H's buddies. More than likely uh, Corporate Kane will be getting in there, and uh, they'll, they'll be fi uh, finishing off that sort of thing they have. And then I think the big surprise, which... You know, some people have already posted pictures uh, with them that are in Pittsburgh, and it's not like really like they're going to fly Kevin Nash up there to be an agent for the Royal Rumble. you got to know that if he's in town, he's working the show, and he ain't working for free, if you know what I mean. But uh, honestly, I can see Nash coming in as, you know, as sort of being that, you know, the muscle of the click, or not the click, the authority, and, um, you know, really making sure that... Uh, um, you know, Nash is able to finish the job and he's able to, uh, to make sure Punk gets out. Hopefully it doesn't mean we have Punk versus Nash finally at, <laughs> at, um, freaking, uh, the Elimination Chamber. But just the further along the storyline that Triple H will do anything he has to do in order to make sure that Punk is out of the Rumble. But that's my pick. I'm picking Nash to eliminate him. You know, he'll, he'll come in the Rumble, get the pop of the night. He posted the uh, twit pic about no going back, and some people, you know, posted them some things about the reason why he dyed his hair and cut it again was to make sure that he could get uh, a role on a TV show in a pilot. I think it was just so he could show up and call him Diesel, or what the hell, even call him Kevin Nash. Everybody knows that, um, just ask Luke Cage, you know, uh, you know, Vince doesn't like, um, you know, the, the, the gray hair of Nash. He makes him dye it black, so that way he looks a whole lot, uh, Younger, and he's not pushing some 60-year-old guy to go in a TLC match against uh, Triple H. I mean, it still was a pretty good match. Not the ending, but it was a pretty good match overall. Especially if you watch the DVD where they edit out the, the fuck up. But uh, Kevin Nash and the Rumble. That's one of my mystery magical picks. We'll go with that. Peace out.